Today I'm going to tell you all about how to get a natural summer glow by using a self tanner and how to not turn out orange like this. Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about my favorite self tanner and how I apply it and like a few tips and tricks and like a mini review of a few other self tanners. I hope this kind of helps the self tanner newbies and also people who are just in the market for a really good self tanner that works really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started and if you have any new requests, uh, leave them below. So a big reason that I like to use self tanner is because I'm really trying to protect my skin. Um, I used to really not care about wearing sunscreen and stuff, but I got really sunburnt last um, spring break and my skin actually peeled and I realized how much damage I was doing to my skin by not wearing sunscreen and not really protecting my skin against the harmful rays that the sun can have. And a little bit of sun is fine, that's not what I'm saying, but if you're laying out for hours baking in the sun without any protection, especially on your face, it's really going to affect your skin, especially once you get older. I know a lot of people have said it causes premature wrinkling, age spots, sunspots, um, and of course you have the risk of skin cancer. So I'm going to show you how I get a nice summery glow without damaging my skin and of course protecting it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Before you apply the self tanner, you want to exfoliate your skin just to so you remove any dead skin cells because what it will do is it will kind of like catch on to that and you'll be able to kind of see like the patchy dryness. You're also going to want to moisturize your skin really well so that the self tanner really sinks into your skin. I like to just use like a really moisturizing facial moisturizer because my skin is naturally kind of dry. Okay, so this is the one that we're going to be using today. This is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tanner. It just looks like this. And it has a nice little pump, which is really great because it gives you only a little bit amount of product. And I'm going to go ahead and show you just how I apply this. So it also comes with a self-tanning mitt, which is dirty, obviously, because I've used it many times. And you're just going to, ooh, almost forgot. You're going to want to go ahead and take off any jewelry that you have on, just so you don't get, like, streaks or anything. Because if you have bracelets on, obviously, they're going to get in the way. So just go ahead and do that. And I also get a lot of questions about the best way, like, what to wear. I would just say wear like a tube top or just like a sports bra or whatever, depending on like what you're doing. If you're doing like your chest and stuff, obviously you're gonna wear want to wear like a tube top so you can get it evenly. But for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna do that because it might be like creepers watching this. So I'm just gonna show you how I do my arms. So I thought that would be like the least creepy. Um, so anyways, this is the self tanning mitt that it comes with, and this is great because it helps you prevent like the orange palms, which this self tanner does not give an orange color, but it will stain your hands just because the skin on there. I'm assuming it's like more absorbent or something, I'm not quite sure, someone probably will correct me on that. But for some reason, when you self tan, a lot of the times it will absorb into your palms and your fingers and it also goes into the crevices and that's like a dead giveaway that you have a fake tan on. So you're going to shake it up just a little bit, pump it, so that's, so that's what it looks like. It's like a moussey foam type texture and you're really going to work fast with it because it does dry fast and just kind of use the mitt kind of just massage it into your skin. Be careful and a little bit, go a little bit lighter around your wrists. I like to do my arm in sections, so I do the top arm and then I take one more little pump. Literally, that's not very much at all. And then I like to do the back of my arm. And then I like to just use whatever is left to do the inner part because the inner part of your arm doesn't necessarily get super tan, but you don't also want like a streaky line from where you stop the self tanner. So just take the in like the extra that's left on there after you do the back side and just lightly rub that onto the inner part of your arm. And then this part of the arm you also need to do because when your arm is like this, you get the front part and then you also need to make sure you get the side. You tan on this part of the arm, but you don't tan on the inside. So it's kind of like I don't know, it's hard to do when you're just not looking at your own arm, but... So I like to just blend it on there. Make sure if I missed any spots, go back and hit those. So I hope that makes sense. You want to just go lighter around the inside, but you don't want to just stop on the outside of the arm and not do the inside, because then you'll have like a distinctive line where you don't have any self-tanner. So around the edges, just kind of blend it in lightly so it just fades. Now you will see an immediate bronze effect, but you're supposed to shower 4-6 to six hours after the application and your true tan will be revealed. 
Okay, and the last tips that I want to give you are if you're doing this for a special event, I would recommend doing it about a week in advance. Um, not wearing that same tan, but do it and try it out like a week in advance so you make sure you know how it looks on your skin and you kind of get the hang of it. I would not recommend doing it like the night before prom or something just because, you know, if it's your first time using self tanner and it gets streaky or something or you don't like the way it turns out on your skin, that would not be a good thing. So just practice it about a week before um, and then also you could have a friend help you if you want to get your back and stuff. I know a lot of people ask about that. As far as your back, you really just have to have someone else do it or else it's really kind of impossible to like fully get your back coated with the self tanner. And then as far as applying it everywhere else, to the legs, stomach, everywhere, I just basically put it all over my body and I do the same method of kind of doing like the front of my legs, then the side, then the back, and then I kind of go over once more to like get any spots that I miss. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the St. Tropez Self Bronzing Mousse and why I like it and kind of like a little mini review on it. So basically it's a mousse as I showed you in the application, but in case you weren't paying attention or something, uh, this is just what it looks like. So, you know, it's like a really airy, foamy mousse, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in while I'm speaking to you. And anyways, a lot of the other self tanners that I've used before are not mousses. I really haven't seen that many mousses. And the one thing that I think I like about this is I love how easily it blends into your skin and how quickly it absorbs. I want to kind of compare it a little bit to a few other self tanners that I've mentioned before and kind of tell you why I prefer it over those ones. Oops. Okay, so I wanted to show you kind of a little bit of a swatch. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on this piece of white paper and I know that nobody's skin is like stark white, but you know. So the cool thing about this is a lot of people also say color is a big thing for them and they're really worried about the color that it will turn out. They don't want to be orange, they don't want to look like super fake and stuff and I know that that's not a good look. So hopefully you can see on here, um, it has a little bit of a green tint to it which is great because that cancels out the orange. It's expensive, but I think the reason that I would be willing to buy it is because I think the pigments that they use in it or something, uh, in the formulation also, it just makes it really natural looking and it doesn't look fake. And I think you do kind of get what you pay for with that. So I'm gonna show you just a swatch of a few other ones. This is the L'Oreal Sublime, and this is um, it's an instant tanner. Personally, this one smells really, 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 ooh! It smells really, really awful. As you can see, this one looks a lot more orange, and this one looks a lot more kind of greenish brown, like a natural, like deep tan would look. And then the last one I want to talk about would be the L'Oreal um, Sublime One Day Tinted Gel, which is actually decent. I actually think this is pretty good. It is orangey if you put like two coats on, but if you only do one coat, it's really, really not that bad. But I would say if you're applying multiple coats of it, it gets orangey. This is kind of weird, but I hope you can see that this one has the most brown, and this one looks a little orange, and so does this one. The point of it is, is that it has a really rich brown texture, or texture, color, and it's not going to make you look orange, which is a huge thing for me, and that's really what sets it apart from all the other self tanners. So I would definitely say if you are interested in a self tanner that's going to look natural, and it's kind of foolproof, then I would try it out. Um, the other thing I want to mention is I actually also bought the Gradual Tan Everyday Body Moisturizer, and this is the light to medium, because sometimes, um, more in the winter, I don't necessarily use it all the time in the winter. Sometimes I just kind of buff it into my face to get a little bit of a color, but it's almost like too bronze for the winter um, in a pretty way. Like I love the color, but I would much rather use just this daily moisturizer um, that kind of acts as like the Jergens natural glow. But I speak for myself when I say that this smells really awful as well. As far as the smell on the Saint Tropez one, it doesn't really have a self tanner smell. And if you haven't ever used self tanner and you've only heard about the smell, you're going to be like, wow, this doesn't smell bad at all. If you do use self tanner often, you'll be able to pick up on the smell, but it's not bad. And it's nothing that I've ever had anyone like comment on. But I definitely have had people say stuff when I've worn the Jergens Natural Glow. Um, and even the L'Oreal Sublime One Day Tinted Gel, I think you can definitely kind of like smell the self tanner in it. So. Leave me a comment telling me what your favorite self-tanner to use is. Thanks for watching.